What are hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids are clumps of dilated, enlarged, blood vessels in the anus and lower rectum. The rectum is the last area of the large intestine before it exits to the anus. The anus is the end of the digestive tract where feces leaves the body. How to get rid of hemorrhoids, types, causes and treatments. Sometimes hemorrhoids swell when the veins enlarge and their walls become stretched, thin, and irritated by passing stool. Hemorrhoids are classified into two general categories. Internal, originating in the rectum, and external, originating in the anus. Enlarged hemorrhoids or piles are associated with symptoms such as itching, mucus discharge, burning at the anus, severe pain, a sensation that the bowel is not really empty, and bleeding without pain. Internal hemorrhoids. Internal hemorrhoids sit in the inside lining of the rectum and are not obvious unless they are substantially enlarged, in which case they can be felt. Internal hemorrhoids are usually painless and become apparent because they cause rectal bleeding with a bowel movement. External hemorrhoids. External hemorrhoids are located underneath the skin that surrounds the anus, and are lower than internal hemorrhoids. They can be felt when they swell, and may cause itching, pain, or bleeding with a bowel movement. Whom do hemorrhoids affect? Hemorrhoids help control bowel movements. Hemorrhoids cause problems and can be considered abnormal or a disease only when the hemorrhoidal clumps of vessels enlarge. What causes hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids are caused by swelling in the anal or rectal veins. This makes them susceptible to irritation. This swelling can be caused by several things, including obesity, pregnancy, standing or sitting for long periods, straining on the toilet, chronic constipation or diarrhea, eating a low fiber diet, coughing, sneezing, vomiting, and holding your breath while straining to do physical labor. How do foods influence hemorrhoids? People who consistently eat a high fiber diet are less likely to get hemorrhoids, while those people who prefer a diet high in processed foods face a higher hemorrhoid risk. Middle. A low fiber diet can leave you constipated, which can contribute to hemorrhoids in two ways. For one, it promotes straining on the toilet. It also aggravates the hemorrhoids by producing hard stools that further irritate the swollen veins. Severe hemorrhoids versus mild hemorrhoids, stages. Many physicians use a grading system to categorize hemorrhoids along four stages. First degree hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that bleed, but do not prolapse. These are slightly enlarged hemorrhoids, but they do not protrude outside the anus. Second degree hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that prolapse and retract on their own, with or without bleeding. These may come out of the anus during certain activities like passing stool, and then return back inside the body. Third degree hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that prolapse and must be pushed back in by a finger. Fourth degree hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that prolapse and cannot be pushed back in the anal canal. Fourth degree hemorrhoids also include hemorrhoids that are thrombosed, containing blood clots, or that pull much of the lining of the rectum through the anus. How long do hemorrhoids take to heal? For many people, hemorrhoids last and last. Ongoing pain is especially common for people over age 50. For many people, hemorrhoidal pain returns years after treatment, and for many others the condition comes and goes, becoming more common over time. Do hemorrhoids ever go away on their own? Sometimes they do. Smaller hemorrhoids are apt to go away in just a few days. It's a good idea during this time to avoid further irritating your rectal area by keeping the area as clean as you can. How to get rid of hemorrhoids, diagnosis and treatments. Many people are embarrassed to go to their doctor about their hemorrhoid problems, which is probably why only an estimated 4% of people see the doctor even if 75% of us experience enlarged hemorrhoids at some point in time. Getting a medical exam will help your doctor recommend an effective treatment, and will also help to rule out more serious causes for your symptoms. If you seem to have enlarged hemorrhoids, the doctor will probably recommend a proctoscopy. During a proctoscopy, a short tube with light and a lens will be used to examine the membranes lining your rectum. This will let your doctor see the enlarged hemorrhoids and determine their size. Again, this procedure is usually painless. What should I eat if I have hemorrhoids? Diet. Individuals with hemorrhoids should soften their stools by increasing the fiber in their diets. Fiber is found in numerous foods, including fresh and dried fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and cereals. In general, 20 to 30 grams of fiber per day is recommended. Stool softeners and increased drinking of liquids also may be recommended. 
How to Heal Hemorrhoids, Over-the-Counter Medications Products used to treat hemorrhoids are available as Ointments Creams Gels Suppositories Foams And Pads When used around the anus, ointments, creams, and gels should be applied as a thin covering. When applied to the anal canal, these products should be inserted with a finger or a pile pipe. Hemorrhoid Home Remedies, Warm Sits Bath a sits refers to sitting in a few inches of warm water three times a day for 15 to 20 minutes. A sits bath may help decrease the inflammation of hemorrhoids. Drying off the anal area completely after each sits bath is important for minimizing moisture that irritates the skin surrounding your rectal area. Hemorrhoids Treatment, Sclerotherapy During this office-based procedure, a liquid, phenol or quinine urea, is injected into the base of the hemorrhoid. The veins thrombose, inflammation sets in and ultimately scarring takes place. Ultimately sclerotherapy causes the hemorrhoid to shrink. Hemorrhoids Treatment, Rubber Band Ligation The principle of rubber band ligation is to encircle the base of the hemorrhoidal clump with a tight rubber band. The tissue cut off by the rubber band dies, and is replaced by an ulcer that heals with scarring. Rubber band ligation can be used with first, second, and third degree hemorrhoids, and may be more effective than sclerotherapy. Doppler Guided Artery Ligation Instead of removing the hemorrhoids themselves, artery ligation cuts off their blood supply. This treatment works best for grade 2-3 hernias, and while it is meant to reduce post-operative pain, 20% of patients still report pain after the procedure, particularly when pooping. Hemorrhoid Treatment – Heat Coagulation There are several treatments that use heat to destroy hemorrhoidal tissue, and promote inflammation and scarring, including Bipolar Diathermy Direct Current Electrotherapy, and Infrared photocoagulation. Such procedures destroy the tissues in and around the hemorrhoids and cause scar tissue to form. They are used with first, second, and third degree hemorrhoids. Pain is frequent, though probably less frequent than with ligation, and bleeding occasionally occurs. Hemorrhoids, surgery. Non-operative treatment is preferred because it is associated with less pain and fewer complications than operative treatment. Surgical removal of hemorrhoids, known as a hemorrhoidectomy or stapled hemorrhoidectomy, is reserved for patients with third or fourth degree hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids, prevention. The best way to prevent hemorrhoids is to keep your stools soft so they are easy to pass and don't require straining. Eating a high fiber diet and drinking plenty of fluids, six to eight glasses each day, can help you stay regular and keep your stools soft, and may reduce constipation and the need to strain on the toilet lowering your risk of developing new hemorrhoids if you suffer from hemorrhoids and you tried everything let me tell you a quick story about my friend lisa who suffered from severe hemorrhoids along with constipation and ibs she was a very bright mid-20s woman yet unemployed because of her condition she was practically living on drugs creams and over-the-counters and was at one point in dire need of reassurance and help i changed her name for privacy Lisa was treated by four different doctors who advised her to keep taking the drugs and apply the prescribed creams. She had followed this five-step plan with some restrictions and limitations. She learned how to reverse her condition by following the same approach you're about to learn. Lisa committed herself to following the program. In less than two weeks, Lisa's hemorrhoids had disappeared along with the IBS and constipation. For Lisa it was a life-changing experience. This program is a proven system for men and women around the world. Everything Lisa learned and discovered from this research and program is immediately available to you through this 5-step hemorrhoid no more program. If you want to find out more about this program, click the link below this video. Lisa was able to cure and prevent all future hemorrhoids in less than 2 weeks after she followed this proven 5-step system, so can you. Click the link below and start now.